is just a collection of photographs I've taken probably the last 10 or 12 years. This one in particular was taken in South Australia. As you can see, you've got some sort of, this is like a crane in the, back, in the foreground. In the background, we've got a pelican. He was just like sitting there. I took a variety of images and um, yeah, he was um, quite spectacular. This one was taken in um, a trip to Broken Hill I took in 2009. This one was more about sort of the color and the texture. As you can see, there's a little bit of a white dot in the front there. That was just, I don't, I don't even know what that was. Something, maybe it was somebody's dead car or something stuck in the sand dune, but for me it was all about the texture and the tone. This is another one. This is in Silverton. Has anyone ever been to Silverton out there? Beautiful place, especially in the middle of summer, like there's lots of bright colours. This one was more about sort of the, the foreground was in focus and the background was more about sort of the, um, the actual structure. It was right next to a cafe. So I really like the colour and the, the texture in that image. This is another one um, just going on the way out to Broken Hill, the same as the one two pictures before. This one was more about, again, image in the, in the front, which was more sort of some scrubby stuff. So I was like sitting down in the dirt taking this and then beautiful blue sky and then all the texture in the background. So. These images haven't actually been edited much at all and basically the colours that they were. This is um, a place called the Living Desert and Sculptures, which is out of Broken Hill. And has anyone ever been out there? It's absolutely stunning. It's just lots and lots of sculptures, beautiful sky, just the forms are just amazing. So I took a variety of images. This is one of my favourites. Anyone recognise this car? <laughs> Seen the movie Mad Max? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Silverton Pub, so... Yeah, I just really liked... <laughs> yeah, I, I liked that more in black and white than I did in colour because I remember the movie was pretty sort of like dark and stuff, so... This is another one at Silverton, just a lot of still life. This was just a fence next to one of the cafes which had lots of like rustic sort of stuff onto it. It looked okay in colour, but in black and white it just seemed a little bit better to me, so... This one was taken in the Snowy Mountains in 2006. I went on a camping trip there. Has anyone ever been Snowy Mountains? This is a hut. It's called the Cope Hut. I took a couple of images. This was from one side, just in colour. Particularly liked all the forms of the trees, all the branches there, and the hut was just amazing. It was just really, really rustic. And, and this is from the other view, from the other side. This photograph was like a double layer, so it was colour underneath and black and white on top, so I just sort of rubbed it out and just brought out a bit of the, the rustiness. So kind of liked that image. As you can see, there's no people in any of these. <laughs> I don't take photos of myself when I'm on holiday, I hate it. Took a trip to um, Millthorpe last week, just because I knew I was doing this, I thought I'd take a few shots. This was at obviously Anzac Day, as you can see the signs there. This is outside one of the pubs. Does anyone know where Millthorpe is? Not too far from here. Um, so yeah, that was just like really, really, really windy, cold day, freezing. This was uh, just a pub around the corner. When I took the shot, I was sitting on my bottom, just shooting up. I really enjoyed the, um, this was outside another building, which had some really great, um, like, lattice work and everything, and the pub was across the road. So. Millthorpe Mil also has a one-hat restaurant, if anyone wants to take a drive out there. It's called Tonic. They do. Has anyone been out there? No? Okay. They've got a restaurant, they're called Tonic. So for me, the sign Tonic was like, yeah, T-O-N-I-C, two, two, what does two mean? Two sort of like leads around your image. And I kind of liked it like that, just with a little bit in the background. This was also outside the restaurant. It was a seat, very rustic looking. I liked the depth of field in this image and it kind of looked a little bit sepia, lots of tone and texture. Again, I was sitting on my bum taking this photograph. I spent a lot of time sitting on my bum taking photographs. Across the road, there was also a building which had some, this is actually upside down, it should be that way. It's actually some wrought iron hanging down and um, these are like some vines as well too. And when I took this photograph, it was probably about four stops underexposed, so I bumped it up a little bit and it was really kind of twisted and lots of texture and colour. This is the right way. <laughs> and this was just more of an autumn sort of shot, so you can see the, the colours and the leaves and then you've got all of the buildings in the background as well too, so it was more sort of that texture. And then when I take a lot of shots, I like um, the detail in the foreground, and then you get good depth of field, so you can sort of see what's happening in the background and imagine it. So, 
this was just a whole lot of leaves and I sat on the ground and just took a few shots and they had a big whirly whirly so they were blowing everywhere so I took probably about 20 shots to get this one and it was absolutely freezing cold wind you could probably feel that and this was just a rustic shed in the middle of the street so it was really cold does anyone remember Anzac Day? yeah okay this is a shot taken at Taralga I took back in 2005 and some friends of mine own an old farmhouse out there it's like 1890s and it's a great old building used to go out there camping quite a fair bit and um, I took the shot and just in black and white I just love the, the feel of it all of the um, the texture in the actual the grass and everything this is in front of the building this is just a, a bottle that was on a fence and then there's a dam in the background and my friend's daughter Brooke she she took this bottle and she smashed it after I um, took this photograph. So I call this Brooks bottle. It was just a funny old beer bottle. They had lots of bottles lying around the property. Um, this is just a typical camping photograph. This is a camp oven um, taken on my trip in 2006 to Victoria to the Snowies. And um, this particular shot was, um, it was a kangaroo stew inside that camp oven. It was just a really, um, it was actually cold. It was um, summertime, but it was freezing and we had a, great camp oven. This photo is actually, actually taken on my iPhone, not a professional camera. This was taken at King's Tableland at Flat Rock. I guess most of you know where that is. This was taken probably about six weeks ago. One afternoon it was just a beautiful sunset. So, you know, you can still get a great photo off your iPhone, as most of us do. Thanks.